In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on ellipse. All right, here we've got a question which reads like this. It says, uh, find the equation of the ellipse whose vertices are plus or minus 13 comma 0 and foci are plus or minus 5 comma 0. This actually shouldn't be read as plus or minus. It's in fact plus and minus. It's like, you know, you need to split it like minus 13 comma 0 and 13 comma 0. And foci will be minus 5 comma 0 and 5 comma 0. So what it says uh, is that the vertices lie on the x-axis. That means, you know, something like this. A quick representation. It's something like this and the vertices are here. So what does it say? It says that it is an ellipse which is of the form x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equals 1. Because the this obviously is the horizontal one and you know the vertical one is like this and the vertices will lie on the y-axis, right? I mean basically vertices are the points that lie on the end of the major axis. So the major axis is horizontal in this x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equal to 1 and it is vertical in x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equal to 1. But now let's uh, get our focus back to x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equal to 1. So now we know that it is, it is of this form. So and we, we've got the values of... Uh, a which is equal to 13 and we also got the values of C which is equal to 5 so all that we have to find out now is B to complete this equation right so all we have to do is just find B so we can easily find B if you know A and C because of this formula here which is A square equal to B square plus C square so B square will be equal to A square minus C square or B will be equal to square root of A square minus C square so b will be equal to 13 squared is 169 minus uh, 5 squared is 25 and uh, 169 minus 25 is 144 and you know that the square root of 144 is plus or minus 12 but we are going to go with just 12 because the b that we are talking about here is the length and length is always positive and is never negative at all. So that's why b is just 12. So now that we found b and we already know a, we can straight away find, we all we have to do is just substitute the values of a and b in this equation and there we have the equation of the ellipse whose vertices are minus 13 comma 0 and plus 13 comma 0 and foci are 5 comma 0 and negative 5 comma 0. So now that we found the values of a and b, we can straight away, you know, substitute the values of a and b in this equation and uh, find the equation of the ellipse in question. So we have x squared divided by 13 squared plus y squared divided by 12 squared equal to 1 which is nothing but x squared divided by 169 plus y squared divided by 144 equal to 1. This is the required equation of the ellipse in question here. Alright, so it was a very simple problem actually. I mean all that you had to you know like take away from this video is how to identify if an ellipse is a horizontal one or a vertical one so you need to really see the vertices and see where a lies a lies on the x-axis or the y-axis if a lies on the x-axis then it sure is this kind of an ellipse and then you can get the form and all you have to do is find b and another important thing that you have to remember as far as an ellipse is concerned is this relationship here which is a square equal to b square plus c square where a is a semi-major axis and b is a semi-minor axis and c is the distance of the focus from the center of the ellipse. Alright, so that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on an ellipse.